but I found this beautiful lace from <laughs> when I was still a beginner. I tried to fix it um, very badly, I must admit, very badly. Who would have thought that, that was a pillowcase? So it should be the unpick V channel, not the app cycle, but the unpick channel. This is not sewing, this is unsewing. I'm going through a pile of remakes that I've had for a long time. And uh, this is a, used to be a dress that was too short uh, for me, but I absolutely love the fabric. It's a viscose fabric, very, very light in weight and uh, very fresh, but the fabric is just beautiful. I love the fabric. And um, I started trying to fix it because uh, I thought, Oh, it's too short on me, so it's ne neither here nor there in terms of um, the length of the dress. It's too short on me, but too long as a tunic. So I thought I'll take the last tier. There was an, an extra tier here. This is when I started upcycling it. And um, then I realized that the hems have like a really weird wavy construction. And then I thought, well, I might as well just finish the hem as it is. And... Uh, maybe put some uh, trimming or something around the hem and finish this blouse. And then I have a nice blouse to wear for the spring summer. I found this beautiful lace. It's quite heavy cotton lace, darker than the lace I've been using before. I had it on my stash. And I think it looks beautiful here. It has quite a bit of weight, so I think it weights down the blouse. So I'm just going to finish the edge as it is all round and put the lace and see if I like it like that. But I think it finishes nicely. It makes it a really nice tunic, I think. Okay, so I'm pinning the lace to the blouse and because the, the hem is curved, every time I get to a curve, I put a little pleat. So the lace goes with the hem of the blouse instead of fighting it. I hope that's going to be enough. I might put another pleat here. I can see it's lifting up a little bit. So I might need to put another pleat there. But that's what I'm, how I'm doing it. So from this end, the pleat's going that way. On the other side, they will go the other side. So they um, have like a mirror effect. <clears throat> so this was the easiest fit. And I think this is one of my favorite. The lace, I need to iron it a little bit better. The lace goes around the curve um, hem nicely. <laughs> I really like it. It looks really pretty. And because the lace has some weight, it brings the blouse down a little bit because um, it was kind of flopping around a little bit. Yeah, I quite like it. I think this is probably my favorite make. See how he stands on the back? It kind of gives it quite a lot of um, weight. Can you see? Can you see the corner there? It's kind of cute. I think it's very cute. How the corner gets emphasized by the lace. I think it's very nice. I really like this blouse. It's beautiful. Now I can wear it all summer. Sometimes simplicity is the best. Look at how lovely that blouse looks. I'm very happy with it. I have this dress on the to-do list for a long time. This is a long time ago that I tried to fix it uh, by just cutting the sleeves and close them up and uh, trying to give it like a second hem. And I think it's a cute effect, but it's still a bit tight and I just don't want to short sleeves. Also, it's very tight on the front. Since it's a very stretchy fabric and I can just put it in and out through my head, I'm just going to stitch it closed and the buttons just will be there to look like uh, they can open, but they won't. Now, the idea is, I love these leaves that I've made for this shirt. In this video, I'm experimenting with this kind of, um, what do you call it, belt sleeves? It's, a, it's like, it sleeves in two parts. So it's a, that part of the sleeves and then this bit. And I'm sure this is not how you build it up. I'm sure you build the whole sleeves first and then you attach it to the top. 
but I, I was just trying to figure out process as I go along and that's how I come up with this design. I really want to fix the stress so I can use it. Um, I do like the second hem thing going on in the sleeve so the detail I'm going to keep it but it's uh, still a little bit tight underneath so I don't know if I might give it a little bit more space underneath my arm but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do um, a balloon sleeves and attach it to here because this fabric uh, is a, it's a different fabric, it's a tensile but it's very similar in color to the dress and then it has these cute little polka dots. This is in a skirt, a wrap skirt. I had it in my to-do list for a long time and uh, it's just too small for me. So it won't go around, uh, doesn't wrap around me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the lovely fabric to create hopefully a, quite a lot of volume on the sleeves and uh, like a balloon sleeves and then put a cuff on this one. Of course, the dress will then not be so light for the summer, but it's actually quite heavy denim. And um, I think with the sleeves, I might not need to wear jackets and things on top. So as I say, I um, <laughs> when I was still a beginner, I tried to fix it um, very badly, I must admit, very badly. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. And uh, I'm going to make myself a new sleeves with a skirt, the denim skirt. So I'm just looking at these sleeves here and uh, looking at how the pattern goes. So mine is going to be straight because it's going to go around the circumference of the denim. So I'm thinking I might just emulate this kind of shape with this fabric and trying to get as much fabric as I can and then uh, measure the opening of the denim and have that so basically a flat like that and then kind of fade out like that with a curve um, hem just like that to be 100% fair I don't know why I think my videos are so in videos what I mostly what I do is unpick sewing items so it should be the unpick vid channel not the I cycle, but the unpick channel. This is not sewing, this is unsewing. That's what it is. I did a really terrible job here. I'm glad getting rid of this. I was going to do like a similar pattern of the one I've seen in the magazines, but I'm following the hem of the skirt and it kind of curves over there so i'm thinking and it's already finished um i'm thinking i'm gonna cut over here i see if i can do some kind of trapezoid like that and then stick it on the sleeves and then use this curve it might be a cute idea let's see kind of using the skirt as it is the rest of the skirt i will keep it in my stash as always Okay, so this is the shape, this is the shape of the opening and I think I'm going to try to emulate it and then stitch it here and then I'm going to stitch that, I'm going to stitch that in, um, in the armhole. So I'm going to try to see if I can, I don't know if I want to maybe stitch it from here to give myself an opening and then stitch it down there. I might do that actually. I might do that. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. But we shall see. It might be a good idea. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I could stitch it. So it has like a curve. Um, maybe till there. So that's my opening here. I can maybe cut it like that. And then turn it around. I try it on and I like it. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, make this side of it curved as well. So both sides are curved and I'm gonna put it on the outside a sleeve. Um, so that's the shape I end up with. I've stitched it together now and I'm gonna pleat it onto the dress. Um, I think it's very sweet. Let's see how it looks.
They're very weird looking, to be perfectly honest. What am I still do? Am I still do just like a top stitch like this? But it's difficult to get all of this fabric in the machine. So I might just do that tonight uh, by hand. Just so I think it looks like the sleeves are more part of it. But I actually think it makes the dress very interesting. And I quite like it. And I also closed it here. So it doesn't open when I'm wearing it. It's super comfortable. And I absolutely love this dress. Very cute. What do you think? Would you have put the sleeves or not? I'm happy to hear your real opinion. like the sleeves I think what I might do is put an elastic by the elbow and just gather all the fabric that I put on I think it might look nicer what do you think I find in my stash uh, three of these pillowcases so this one is a hundred percent cotton I don't know if you can see it is made in Switzerland uh, which is uh, really strange I, I i don't i mean i might just be ignorant but I, I don't think i've seen many things made in switzerland in terms of textiles so it was quite an interesting thing it's a it's a beautiful cotton it feels really lovely i already washed it any of the um thrifted items that i buy never comes here first they they always go straight to the washing machine and then they come here so everything smells nice and fresh so i have this one then I have the second one and then I have what it looks like maybe like a folder for um, the case it looks like a, or maybe another pillowcase I don't know but I have um, these three pieces which I'm gonna open for fabric and I'm gonna harvest as much fabric as I can and the idea would be to make this top again on this lovely fabric but I do have some of the fabric from this dress, from this top, left. And then the back of it is in black and white. So this is the this is the reverse of that fabric and it's black and white. So I'm thinking I might see if I have enough fabric to make the top, to make the front and back with this fabric, and then make the sleeves which are super nice and light in weight. On this fabric or a combination of this fabric and this fabric so maybe the top of the sleeves will go with a pillowcase and then the the little flouncy bell thingy can go with this one I don't know I'm not sure if I'm gonna be putting the lace at the bottom again um, I might do it without the lace and see how it goes and I can always add the lace later so this is this version of the blouse I think it's super cute. I did a, a Ringland sleeve and uh, I love the little insert of the lace. These are the, the pillowcases. Uh, I'm just gonna open them up and uh, I'm gonna be making the ruffles with this fabric. It's blue on one side and black on the other side. I think the black will look really nice with the pillowcases so i'm opening them up and taking the pieces with them i know i've showed this a couple of times now but this is such a treat when you open and you see the lace underneath so as I said before, all I need to do now is just fold the edges and stitch them together. How beautiful is to open a window to a beautiful lace. I've done one big piece and then after I've done the stitching, I'm gonna fix it to the sleeves. 
So all pinned to sew. This is the sleeve and I think I made the right decision. Check this out. How pretty is that? I love the combination of both fabrics. So I'm going to stitch the sleeves and start making the top. Who would have thought that that was a pillowcase? So I'm stitching it all together now. This is my sleeve. That's the front and that's the back. And with a Ringland um, sleeve, what happens is um, the shoulder gets made up with the sleeve um, and the, the pieces. So the sleeve, the Ringland sleeve goes all the way to the neckline. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stitch it all together. I got to the point now where the top is practically finished. The sleeves are finished, the neckline is done. I decided to not put lace at the bottom of it. Uh, today I'm wearing the other one <laughs> because it's not so um, long, the sleeves. Uh, it doesn't get into, you know, in the way when I'm working. Anyway, so that's what I am at the moment. But I want to show you something. So these are the two pieces I'm going to put at the bottom as a peplum. I only have this little piece of the flower. I'm thinking just so I could marry the top to the bottom so it's not different. I'm thinking of using a little strap all around the top of this one and then pin it on the peplum. So it kind of half the both, you know, the bodies also have this fabric. I think I'm going to do that. This is a labor of love. I just marked all of the fabric that I got left and I'm going to try to use as much as possible. Hopefully, when I've stitched them all together, they will be long enough to go around on the top of the other uh, peplum. I just spent way too long on this. I just done one big stripe and I'm going to try to stitch it to the, the one for the bottom. So yes, before you come for me, I do understand that I am using white thread on the serger, but the problem being that I bought the white thread and the black thread on the same day and the same place. And I've been using the white thread, no problems. The moment I change from the white thread to the black thread, the serger keep on breaking the thread, keep on getting stuck. Oh my God. I become like the Hulk, but I don't think the Hulk is green. I think the Hulk is red because I see red and I was so close to smack it against the walls. You, I mean, you can't believe how upset I was. So for my own sanity and the room, <laughs> I'm doing it in white. It's my blouse, so it doesn't matter. So that's what we're doing. Um, today I'm working with the other one, absolutely love it and uh, I'm happy to finish this one. So let's go on with it. Okay, I made the ruffle. <laughs> Was all that work worth it? Nah, debatable. <laughs> I do like sewing so I enjoyed it but I'm not sure if it just adding that little bit was worth. Let's put it on the top. Okay, so there is it. I'm really happy with it. I think the little strap probably makes sense. Um, <laughs> we shall see when I try it on. It is lunchtime and I'm very hungry. So I'm going to go and eat first and then I'll try it on for you to see. my one two three four makes for this week i uh, truly enjoy the makes i'm a little bit tired because i've done quite a bit of sewing today but i love this uh, blouse um just by adding a little bit of lace it kind of makes it fall and um, gives it some weight because it's such a light fabric and i think 
as my mom say, if the wind comes in, they can see el sol y la luna, which means the sun and the moon. So it's kind of nice that it gives you a little bit of weight. And uh, yeah, I think it, it goes nicely with the bohemian kind of look of the blouse. It used to be a long dress, as I said in the video. But yeah, um, I'm really happy with this blouse. I am really happy with the dress. I fixed the, um, the thing. I also fixed it here, by the way. Um, I fixed the opening, so it doesn't pull open anymore. It's super comfortable. I pull out all of the stitches on the sleeve and I love the, the, the sleeves, the way they wear. That I, I think they're very interesting. Um, am I still fiddling with them a little bit because of the shape? But I actually think they're quite interesting. I'm quite happy with them. Uh, my favorite top has to be, not this one. I mean, I love this one and I've been working with it all day. I've been working in the sewing room and I've gone into the kitchen a couple of times and it's been perfectly fine. So um, it's been super comfortable to wear um, and I think it's quite smart. I love the, the insertion lace. I'm having a lot of fun with that. And um, uh, the black one with the black uh, lace and the black flowers uh, inside of here with the same as the inside here. I think it looks amazing, it's super comfortable and it's such a lovely fresh cotton to wear. I'm really happy with it. So I'm actually really chuffed with this week's uh, makes. Um, um, I have now two of these squares full of uh, projects that needs to be made. Uh, I've been tidying them all up and putting them by uh, order of when I wanted to get them done. So I have plenty of videos to do, but I'm really chuffed of the amount of clothing that I'm gaining again. Dresses, blouses. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I didn't think that making all these videos will give me such a rich wardrobe again. So please like and subscribe. Tell me which one was your favorite and which ones you didn't like. And that's all good. And uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.